Hi, I'm Bella Gandhi, founder of Smart Dating Academy and dating coach for Elizabeth and all of you out there that are help that are going to take the leap back into love. So I'm going to give you two tips to get you started. So for your first dates, good news, they get to be short and sweet. No more than one to two hours long. Dates that go longer than that, you can tend to overshare. You want to leave your date wanting a little more, so one to two hours is perfect. Your dating life should look like a funnel. You're going to date many people, date them well, and then ideally through the process you're going to narrow it down to one. But don't just start with one person and see how it goes. I want you to have a lot of options so you're in control. And we're live. We're live? Oh my goodness. Are you Woo! live? <laughs> Hello! Oh <my> Hello! <laughs> okay, now we're still, because we just did Good Morning America. And it's like being shot out of a cannon. Yes. You know, when you're straight out. Straight out of a cannon. But we're backstage right now. I hope you are able to join us. 2020 is a leap year. And we're talking about taking a leap of faith. Taking about, you know, just jumping into something. And this beautiful woman right here, Elizabeth, you have been wonderful in sharing your story, uh, unfortunately, her fiance was killed in a car accident. And this was in 2018, December 2018. Yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing okay. It's mm -hmm. been, a, um, it's honestly been a really beautiful journey. Sort of watching my love story with Michael yeah. turn into a love story with our community and friends and family, and now you too. Oh, yeah. I appreciate you saying that. Yeah. And so we're talking about taking a leap of faith a leap to love, to find love again. And Bella Gandhi, don't you just love that? Bella Gandhi! Uh, tell people a little bit about yourself and what you were able to, to do in helping people, Bella. So I started my company, Smart Dating Academy, 10 years ago because I was always matching people on gut and helping them get out of dating messes. So um, what we help people like Elizabeth and all of you to do is take that leap right back into love. And by dating smart and managing things the right way, having a plan, making it fun, not ignoring red flags, and fixing your picker so that you ultimately have fun through the process and then find someone. Fun with the what were some of the messes? You said you some you, the messes that you've had with the dating so we just kind of know what pitfalls that we should kind of watch out for. You know, there are so many red flags that you can almost detect. Dating, in some senses, especially with online, is process of elimination when you're on the apps. Like if you see someone that sounds negative, or angry or they're critical of you already like oh I don't know why you wore that red dress delete left swipe right they're gone <laughs> automatically so it's yeah. easy to eliminate people but then during the process let's say you have a great first date with someone mm -hmm. and then right after the first date and you think it was a good date if he's like you know I want to lock this down I want to take you off the market this you are the love of my life Oh, red oh, flag, yeah, yeah. red okay, flag. Yeah. Anything that's too fast and furious, mm -hmm. we're gonna just watch all of that. And that is why I'm gonna be scotch tape yeah. to you. Yeah, I know. And that's we're good. going. I'm gonna I tell know. you, no, no, yes. Yeah. And even and here's another mistake that people make. If you're not feeling chemistry on the first date, a lot of people are like, meh. I'm just gonna throw them back to the pond. But you never know because sometimes great love starts slowly and chemistry can start mm -hmm. slowly mm -hmm. and it can build. So yeah. lots of stuff. So Bella's gonna help you with yes. this and gonna help you. And mm -hmm. all of our platforms, our Good Morning America platforms, we're gonna be following Elizabeth, having suggestions and things like that. What can you do and, and, and help people who may be in a similar situation and going like, well, I, I know they're how can you get to this point to put your heart out there again mm -hmm. after something like that happens? Yeah, well, I think it's a good question, and I think it's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no hard and fast rules. I think every relationship and circumstance is, is different. Um, I think per, sort of giving yourself your space and grace to have your own journey, your own experience, you know? And I, for me, I just was really gentle with myself and just knew it was time. I came out of a meditation, and I thought, Okay, I'm ready. Mostly because I realized, Robin, I love love. I mean, love, love, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is one area in my life that I was not open to, and that awareness came to me. And why would I sort yeah. of close myself up? Especially with Michael. He would want me to have so much love and share yeah. this big, beautiful life with someone else. So I just knew it was ready. I know that the right. meditation and prayer really helped you. Yeah, it did, it did. yes. But I love, did you hear what she said? Space and grace. 
Ah! I love it. Give me Hashtag. Right, okay. I, got, I, got, I got it first. I got it first. Face and grace. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. is beautiful how, yeah. how you how you T-shirts. Okay. Okay, so get, tell us what the process is going to be like, Bella. What do you think? So we've already put Elizabeth on a couple of sites and apps, and she might already kind of have a date scheduled already for skinny vanilla lattes. Uh -huh. Hopefully and donuts. Hopefully donuts. And that's one thing. If you put in your online profile things that are specific to you, like she said, I love skinny vanilla lattes and donuts. Oh my God. Guess what? What an easy date to have. That For a guy, that's a layup, right? Like, hey, you want to go out for a skinny vanilla latte and a donut? Like, oh my God, that is my husband, right? Yeah. So, so yeah, putting little things like that makes the conversation easier on dating apps and sites because it can feel a little awkward and unnatural. Yeah. Yeah. So keep it simple keep and it simple simple but show someone who you are versus telling them instead of saying you know I'm a foodie you can talk about okay I do like the skinny vanilla lattes and donuts so I'm kind of a sugar foodie yes. whatever it yes. is yeah yeah be how, yourself how do you feel about that that you're um, about to go you have a date it since 2011 I think you said 2011 yes long long time um, I'm excited I I better get some coaching around my mindset but this what do you is mean? just coffee you know, I, I got very nervous at first, and um, I don't know, I got very nervous. And Bella goes, it's just coffee. So, you know, I'm just open, and that's how this came to me. It just sort of fell on my path. And so I'm going to go with an open mind, right? A beginner mindset. I'm not going to have any expectations. I don't know if we're going to network for work, if we're going to bond over donuts, if we're going to go on another date. Like, I'm just going to go and be open. No I'm expectations. Connect with another human being. Yeah, yeah that's it. No expectations like that. Yeah. What are other suggestions that you have with your if you're thinking about because there's so many dating apps and I know that you said that we should limit our time yeah. on those apps mm -hmm. and not make it like our daily profession in finding <laughs> a date. Because it can you know, feel like that. It can feel that way. Yeah, especially when people have been doing it for a long time. So I say that there's three parts to a good dating plan, like okay. three candidate pipelines. So meeting people online is one, mm -hmm. so check, we've covered that. But then meeting people in real life right bringing your best self to all of your interactions right. putting your phone down making eye contact with people mm -hmm. smiling being open having your cab light on like okay i'm available right, right? yeah absolutely yeah. <laughs> and then so in real life and then the third way is building a community of people around you yes. that are going to set you up people yes. identify I call them super connectors within your network right they're people mm. that are extroverted they like connecting people and they will and you say hey you're on team Elizabeth to help me find love <laughs> in 2020 so you've got January and you've got February y'all yeah. gotta set me up with one guy so these are all these different ways that keep it fun and you never know where he's gonna come from I know one thing when we and I wish that I hope that you're with us on, on Good Morning America when we shared uh, Elizabeth's story and shown beautiful pictures and that and when you were getting information from Bella and this one even got me um, when she said about dating multiple people <laughs> I, said, I know that was huh? I mean but you were saying uh, because well explain what you mean, mean by that that you shouldn't just limit yourself to one person that you're dating yeah I think especially in today's day and age People are dating other people, right? Because there's so much more availability. So just know and take that as a positive. I'm going to date multiple people. Think about it like if you were gonna change jobs, mm -hmm. you would go on multiple interviews with multiple companies. Right. Ideally, to have multiple offers so you have options because options make you feel powerful, right? But what's so that dating? Well, go ahead, Elizabeth. <laughs> like, I got something to say. <laughs> well, one, I thought she was kidding me, I actually, tested another friend who's out dating. I'm like, is this true? Mm -hmm. we can, this is a known fact. But okay, so I understand, and I love the interviewing analogy, but so then when you, what about if you start smooching someone? So if you smooch someone, then do you stop dating everyone else? You are so sweet. Is that what you do? Smooch, I mean, smooch. You do? That is what so get If you give someone a hug, <laughs> now you're exclusive? No, a oh, kiss does not make heart. you exclusive. Oh, I'm going to say, lovely. like, I don't know how, you know, let's just say we're going to keep more serious physical things for way later in the game yes. than, okay. than now. Okay. So yes. we'll get to that when we get there. But for <laughs> now, no, you're not exclusive with anybody until you've had that discussion. The DTR, determine right. the relationship. DTR, is that a real That's thing? A thing? Determine the relationship. Right, that means we are exclusive. Oh, oh, we're me, off the market. You mean the talk? The talk. talk. 
It's just serious. The top. It's, yeah, the Gives top. It's yeah. serious. Yeah. The top. Like, uh -huh. I, you know, and that, and the That's top good. shouldn't happen for two to three months. Yeah. Like, this is slow right. and steady. Right. You know, we have little graphs that we've created on what a good dating timeline should be, how many dates per week, and what a healthy relationship mm -hmm. looks like. Because so many people will, to your point earlier, you shoot out of a cannon, they're gonna go on five dates in a week, oh, because, no. and they're like intoxicated by this. But no, I want slow and steady, because that's what's gonna win the race. Yes. Every time, slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, and my no. mommy said, when you strut, you stumble. That's what she was saying. When you strut, oh, you I like stumble. That. Right? Yeah, really, I like come that. on, flow your right, yeah. you Okay, you're busy. People are yes. busy. Uh, you've had a, a really long work day, and now you're supposed to get into the date mode. Do you mm -hmm. have some suggestions? Yeah, create a dating ritual, right? Because it's hard when you're busy with two jobs, two kids. To t you've got to take the the kind of stench of the work day off of you mm -hmm. and do something that's going to put you in to dating mode. So freshen yourself up, right? Maybe for some yes. people that's like taking a shower and zhuzhing themselves back up again. But if you don't have time to do that, change your clothes. Put on a slick of pink or red lipstick because it kind of puts you in like the, your berry lip, mm -hmm. femme fatale mode. Mm -hmm. It kind of signals your brain. Like when I put on my berry lip, it means I'm going on a date. Yeah. And then create a playlist that pumps you up. For me, music puts me, it can determine my too. mood. So Thank get you. your girl power. Mm -hmm. I'm on a date, jam list. We can do that. And we can maybe share a playlist with you oh, guys. Yes. But oh, yeah. Cool. That's a good I mean, idea. And you have some songs too. Yes. yes. What yes. pumps you up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Arnold, we pump <laughs> you up. Uh, so Bella is going to be your personal coach. Uh, as we said, on all the Good Morning America social media uh, platforms, uh, we're going to be there for you. And we want you all, we want to hear from you. Um, and this is so, first of all, incredibly, uh, we're incredibly thankful that you're sharing your story, that you are allowing others to, I know that you want to be helped, but you're going to help so many others as well. Oh, so you feel good? Are you, yes. I, want, I want you to Yes, feel I do feel good. Yes, okay. it's an honor. Yes. Thank you. You ready to go? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Any last words? Anything that we should should think of or, you know, it's, it's, you know, what's really, we connect so much. Like we're on Facebook Live right now. Yeah. We're more connected than ever, but not connected at all in some ways. And I can't, I, I just think that one-on-one -on -one that we just don't take that time to put down the phone. Yeah. To have that just, um, that time with one another. To, right. to, you know, it doesn't have to be a long day. It doesn't have to be hours. I love that you're just having your is it skinny. Skinny uh, vanilla latte. Skinny vanilla latte. And a donut. And, so. <laughs> and a donut. Donut. She's going to be hopped up on sugar yeah, by the end of it. <laughs> but, but, to, but to keep it simple, but what right. can your, your final advice, Bella? Because I know we're having fun and all that, but for some people it is really, and not to say it's not the, uh, going to be difficult for you as well but how do you get people who are watching right now and saying you go girl but i don't know if i can do this i don't know if i'm ready to take that leap to love you know, in some senses, it's like anything big in your life. I don't know that we ever feel ready, ready, right? We can kind of crawl up to the ledge, but what I want to tell you is take on this attitude that I have for all of you and I have for Elizabeth, and it's psychotic optimism, yes. right? And yes. psychotically optimistic, meaning love will come to you. It's a when, it's not an if. Okay, so you will find love, all of you will find love, so I have just given that to you. Love is coming to you. All you all have to do is go out on a bunch of dates to find this person. So keep that, bathe yourself in psychotic optimism from today on forward right. because successful anything in life all begins here and mm -hmm. how we're thinking about the process. Oh God, it's, you gotta change the way you think in order to change the way you feel. Yes. Woo, that's yep. true, you, you do that, but space and grace. I'm gonna really take that away. Oh. And thank you for your spirituality. Thank you. I'm, I meditate as well, yes. and this helped yeah. me through some very difficult yep. times. And just incredibly appreciate. And we're going to be on this journey yes, with I'm you. So <laughs> Yay. Yes, I'm so excited! So thank you all so much. You've been so supportive. And so uh, it's a leap of faith. It's a leap thank year. You. Uh, we're starting with love, and who knows what we're going to leap into next. Yep. So just stay with us. And God bless. Have a wonderful. It's Fat Tuesday, y'all. Oh. I don't know why I'm doing that. I, you know, when I get, when I get off, the, off, the, off the show, I'm just like wired like Put this. Put your beads like on. Okay. All right. And scene. <laughs>